Okay, in this BioWorks CS3 lesson, we'll be demonstrating how to get custom image patterns into your custom shapes in BioWorks. So what I'm going to do is pull out a few shapes. Let's pull out a, an arrow, an arrow, and let's pull out a star. And I could have very well easily pulled out any of those. Let's see. Let's make a custom shape now. Let's take the pen tool. Say you're making a header for a website or something. It's got a maybe a curve right here. Oops. Well, actually, I'll show you another trick. You can take a rectangle and put it over a shape, another shape, and highlight both shapes at the same time, and press modify, combine paths, and punch. And the one shape will act as a, a punch out. So let's see what we have here. We have three shapes. One is custom, two are stock, and we'll take the first custom one and we're going to go down to fill options actually let me uh, drag this down so you guys can see okay we're going to go down to pattern and if you keep this might come out of view but if you go under wood 3 you'll see other you click other and it'll let you browse your computer and then uh, you just pick the the picture you want to put and what it'll do is lay the picture in there at its full size so you just resize it to get it to where it's not so humongo in there and then move it by pressing the dot and dragging it and you can put that wherever you want now let's get it just the right size so it's not too big so you can see how I'm working the image. I'm holding shift as I resize it so that way it resizes the height and the width at the same time and the aspect ratio won't get wacko. Let's see. Right about there. Okay. So you see how I lay the custom image in there? and uh, sort of like what masking does in flash but it just lays the image in there and the borders still stay you can see I have a, a thick gray border around it and you can do the same thing same thing to these stock images or these stock shapes Got a pattern and you can put all kind of patterns in there and then down in pattern you just go all the way down to other and that's where you can find your your pictures browse your computer grab a picture and it loads it right in and if you want to put one with people let's see if we can put a cute little face in that one in the star let's see resize them. Remember to hold shift so that the aspect ratio doesn't get whacked out. And then you can position where the image is in the symbol, in the shape, by moving this dot. And you can see I put her face right in there. And this one, same thing. Resize it move it to where it looks right in there and that's it and that's how you put uh, custom imagery into your custom shapes or stock shapes within fireworks CS3 we'll see you next lesson